Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some more Pittsburgh Steelers tape breakdown and analysis. Short video today, we know Pittsburgh having more athletic mobile quarterbacks this year, especially if they get Justin Fields on the field for certain packages. Could see some of that quarterback designed run game under Arthur Smith. We're going to go over his most popular run concept we probably will see in Pittsburgh in 2024. Before we start, if you guys could like this video, subscribe to the channel, and check out the site SteelersDepot.com. Would really appreciate that. So, run concept, quarterback run game, designed under Arthur Smith, the read option with an additional layer to it. Just basically to sum up, in, in the read option, you're going to read the end man on the line of scrimmage. If he crashes down to take the running back, the quarterback's going to keep the football and run it himself. If the end stays out wide to play the quarterback keep, the quarterback will give the ball hand it off to the running back up the middle. The layer on top of this is you're going to get this arc block from the tight end. Typically, you talk about split zone, split flow action. He's going to block the, the backside end man. In this case, it's going to be the front side end man on the line of scrimmage. In, in this situation with the arc block, he's going to bypass him intentionally and take the cornerback instead. So I'll play this one through, and you're going to see the tight end intentionally allow that end man to be unblocked because he's going to be red. That's how they're going to basically block him is by dictating where he goes. The football is going to go away from him. And so you get the tight end coming across, bypass the end man. He's going to be just red by Ritter. And the another layer too in the element of motion in this case, we'll look at the aerial view is the receiver motion coming across, pulls that safety away, and then allows the crack block from the receiver on the linebacker as the tight end arcs around on the cornerback. So a lot of layers here of guys being red of the motion element and then this arc block from the tight end. It's really well done. It's a big lane here for Desmond Ritter. So to slow it down and run it through just one more time, going to read the right defensive end. He's going to crash down on the running back. That's a keep read for Ritter. The motion pulled the safety across. Receiver cracks down on the linebacker, has the angle to be able to make that block. Tight end arcs across, takes the corner. Big alley there for Ritter. It's an impressive pickup. Same concept against the Packers in 2023. Tight end's going to arc across. You're going to get the receiver who's out of frame right now. He's going to crack down. Pistol look here. You're going to read the end man on the line of scrimmage. He's going to come down on the running back just enough. Ritter's going to keep the ball, follow the tight end, and nearly get in the end zone. Not sure why he didn't turn up field a little bit sooner. There, and he was trying to get wide of the DB, uh, the safety, but that's really besides the point. So, again, a lot of elements, receiver motion coming across, less effective, it looks like here overall. But reading the end man, tight end arcing across, the 49ers do a ton of this as well. You don't really have to truly block that end man because you're reading him. The receiver in this case did crack down because he was just, you know, they were playing, I think, a little bit uh, deeper with the safeties here. But that's a great way to get that advantage in the run game. And if Fields does see the field this year, you're going to see this concept certainly called a couple of times. Let's go back to 2022 when Pittsburgh came to Atlanta. And similar idea, same concept, just dressed up a little differently. Pistol, but with this sidecar, the tight end. Again, and this time I'm going to get receiver motion to uh, the play side on this one. But same idea. Going to read TJ Watt. Not going to worry about trying to block this guy in the run game. Going to read him as he crashes down here on uh, the running back. Mar Marcus Mariota, in this case, the quarterback at that time in 2022, is going to keep the ball to the outside. And you're going to get the receiver coming across. Not getting that really arc block, but you're going to get this lead block here from the tight end sidecar working up field, letting Watt come across. He tackles the running back. Mariota has the football get a couple yards out of it so how do you you know deal with tj watt in the run game he's so difficult against anybody base blocking 1v1 just read him and where he goes go the opposite and that's always a good strategy and uh, just the basis and foundation of these read option plays last example again same idea same look pistol with the sidecar reading tj watt here the front side the Left outside linebacker in this case, he's going to crash down on Cordell Patterson, now a Steeler. Mariota is going to keep the ball, and it's a really nice gain by him. And so simple stuff, read option, a couple of layers though, some motion, some of this arc block, getting this sidecar as well as additional 
front side blocking, and the quarterback just has to make the read. With a guy like Justin Fields in space, he's so dynamic. Defenses will have to account. There's certain ways you can try to defend this, which we can talk about at a separate time. Mesh charge, you can slant and scrape. There's surf techniques, you can really stack the box, but it is a challenge for any defense in an element Pittsburgh will have. They have not really had before with a coordinator that I think can utilize the skill set of a dynamic running quarterback like Justin Fields in the design run game. No, he can scramble and make plays on his own, out of structure, but in structure with true run calls. Going to see this read option. Could even see it occasionally with Russell Wilson in some key short yarded situations, third and one big time moments where uh, defenses may not be anticipating him carrying the football. So there's that element as well, but certainly will be centered around Justin Fields. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching. If you guys could like this video, subscribe to the channel, and check out the site, SteelersDepot.com. Would really appreciate that. Again, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.